Comparison is the thief of joy. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Long time no talk. So I'm going into 2023 with the intention of improving my health, but while doing so, avoiding the comparison trap. I've been thinking a lot about what this intention means for me and also what it shouldn't mean for me and to make sure I have this intention for the right reasons. To me, being healthy is taking care of my body, nourishing it with exercise and eating relatively clean. Health has always been really important to me. When I was in high school, I didn't play any sports. So instead, I started exercising at the local YMCA and not just because I'm gay. Anyways, since then I've used exercise as a way to reduce anxiety and stress and to also get those wonderful exercise endorphins. Gotta love them, gotta love them. Give me all the endorphins, please. I always feel so much better after a workout. I feel a strong sense of accomplishment, which translates to confidence that I can take with me throughout the day. If I was able to accomplish X, Y, Z while exercising, I feel empowered to take the challenges of the day head on. Head on! Just kidding, not that aggressive, but still head on. In the past, I've also used exercise to look a certain way. If I look a way that society deems as attractive, I'll gain confidence and be more happy. But should I be viewing and equating exercise and more so looking a specific way with exercise to happiness? In my humble opinion, the answer is no, 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 no. No. And the reason being is that there's a difference between being healthy and exercising and focusing too much on the exercise results. Improving my health should be able to make me feel good and improve my life. The main focus shouldn't be about looking a specific way that is societally viewed as attractive, but that can be really hard to do. On social media, I'm constantly bombarded by guys with 600 abs and ripped muscles, which is great for them. You go girl, you keep those muscles. I'm proud of you. Whatever makes you happy. But personally, it can be hard not to compare myself with these guys. And I end up feeling like I'm not good enough and dissatisfied with with the way that I look. So I really need to focus on making sure that I'm exercising for the right reasons. The physical benefits are great and can absolutely translate into improvement in your day-to-day -day life, but I need to make sure that looking a specific way that is societally idolized isn't my motivating factor to exercise. If my happiness depends on looking a certain way, once I achieve that goal, I'm not going to magically become happy. More than likely, I still won't feel satisfied with how I look and I'll continue to compare myself with others and how I should advance and what I need to do next in order to feel good about myself. Instead, focusing on being happy with where I'm at right now will translate to both physical and mental health and will continue to do so. Comparing yourself to the ripped guys on social media and in movies can set unrealistic goals, expectations, and standards. For example, Zac Efron is known for having a totally ripped body in the movie Baywatch, but this ripped body that he had isn't as attainable as one might think. According to Men's Health, Zac Efron was on a specific intense diet that required Lasix, powerful diuretics, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this all correctly, to achieve the specific look that he had. His diet consisted of organic protein and leafy greens in months and months of intense two per day workouts. Zac Efron even said himself that he doesn't want people to think that they need to look that way. He actually said, don't try it for guys. That's unrealistic. I got very big and buff for that movie, but I don't want people to think that that's the best way to be. Be your size. I don't want to glamorize this. Well, Zac Efron, you've stolen my heart. Just kidding, just kidding, Greg has. But I love that he's conveying this really, really, really important message. Because personally, when I saw the movie Baywatch and all the promotional material for the movie, I was like, how did he get so ripped? And I really, really wanted to attain the fitness level that he had. And while I can continue exercising for my health and to have physical benefits that will help improve my life, my focus shouldn't be on looking a specific way that a celebrity movie star looks in a movie. So there are a variety of different ways that one can try to stop 
comparing themselves to others. One big thing is to be grateful for everything that your body can do. Embrace the body that you have. I'm grateful that I can write. I can talk with my hands, which I do a lot. You can see right now. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry. I got that escalated really quickly. Another way is to really try to focus on your own fitness and exercise journey and goals. Also working on finding happiness and where you are today. Just to clarify, everyone can view health, exercise, etc. in whatever way works best for you. This is just how I'm focusing on my personal health journey and what's the most beneficial for me, hopefully, in the long run. Everyone has their own health journey and can view health, exercise, all of that in whatever way works best for them. Very important, very important. I am not a health self-image expert, but this is all a a reminder to myself that while I'm continuing to improve my health with my New Year's intention, that I'm doing it for the right reasons. I don't want my happiness to rely on reaching a specific fitness goal or looking a specific way, but rather be happy with where I am now as I continue the intention of improving my health. So to make it clear and simple, this is not relying on having a specific physique to bring me happiness. I want to have a realistic and healthy mindset when it comes to my health and fitness and exercise goals. Being healthy and exercise is extremely important to me and it always will be. But personally, I just wanna make sure that I go into this year with the intention of being healthy for the right reasons. What are your thoughts? How would you define personally being healthy for yourself? Have you ever fallen into the comparison trap? If so, how did that make you feel? What are some ways that you think you could climb out, break out of that comparison trap? It's jail. It's jail. Thank you guys so much for watching me blab about exercise and self-image and most importantly, the comparison trap or jail. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It means so much. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And just remember, you are beautiful inside and out. <laughs> health has always been... <laughs> health has always been... <clears throat> compared... <clears throat> so much better. <clears throat> so, so. Improving my... <clears throat> the main... <clears throat> and what he did... What I did and happy.